Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel. So we have a golf ball review mm -hmm. today. Mm. Mizuno golf balls, Matty. Yes. Uh, a ball that we, I would say, stumbled upon last time. We got to the PGA show, the first stop when we got uh, to Mizuno, or got to actually to demo day was Mizuno booth. Yeah. They had then caddies full of Mizuno golf balls. Yeah, we were kind of like, like, what's oh, going on there? Yep. Um, we subsequently got the ball back to the studio. We'd mm -hmm. done some further testing. We found some fascinating things uh, with the with the previous line of RV Tour golf balls. It was just a crazy, crazy high spin ball, like the likes of which we'd never seen. Absolutely. It was like a Kirkland ball. It, it was with a very firm kind of core, yep. super soft, high spin cover. And I think we all, all of us in, in uh, TXG had the Mizuno uh, golf balls totally. in the drawer. It's a cheat code for us. In case yeah. you know, somebody couldn't spin it, I was like, well, just take this. Give him yeah. one of these. It, it was literally like, a, like an undercover drug deal. Yeah. Like, just, just take some Mizuno golf balls. When we first had these in the bay, I remember you were fitting a guy and that's all he plays now, religiously. Even if he finds a Pro V, you know, in the middle, like doesn't in the rough mean, or whatever, it doesn't yeah. matter. He only uses Mizuno balls. Well, it's, it is such a unique ball. Like, it was outrageous how spinny it was. It was crazy. It, I think at the time we coined it, it was like going back to the Balata days with it the was, solid yeah. core. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. It was kind of like having that uh, ability. And many people have messaged me since this one has been sort of rumored okay. uh, and said, cool. Please tell me it's still the same characteristics. Oh, yeah. Please don't ruin it. Don't like don't have changed the ball flight characteristics. So we're going to find out. Yeah, there are definitely some things about the golf ball that's different. Mm. Reading on the the kind of the high level stuff on the box, two hundred and seventy two dimples seems like a, a very few yeah. dimples. Yeah, between kind of three hundred and twenty and three hundred and ninety kind of would less. be where golf balls would normally fall. So. You know, went with that very different aerodynamic yeah, interesting. Uh, package on this one. Yeah, I'm excited to see, especially the RB Tour, because it, it does, you know, state that it's that more penetrating flight. But yeah, um, yeah I hope they haven't changed too much from the, the previous yeah, one. The X is still crazy spinny, mm -hmm. and they've made the RB Tour into like a Pro V1. Mm -hmm. I think that would be a great result. Yeah. Uh, if they've changed both a ton, I think you'll have some disappointed people. Yeah, I think looking at the cover, I mean, you know, we, we can sort of guess it looks a little bit more durable than mm -hmm. the last one. It does, yeah. It definitely looks looks like uh, they've, they've went through some different versions. 99 prototypes to be exact, Michael. Is that Impressive. right? It's a few. Yep. Um, so, yeah, I think they, they, they realised that they, it was the ball market was where they, they wanted to stay in For the sure. ball market. So well, Obviously, they sold enough to make you yeah. know, an interest yeah. in doing yeah. it again. Definitely. Okay. All right, let's take a little look. Um, let's run through some 50 degree wedges. Yes, we'll um, do one of each. I'll start with the RB Tour. RB Tour. Go nice. Nice. Yeah, good strike. Go in. You're home. Yeah, there. Free drinks. A little short. Okay. That's the ball one, yeah? Mm -hmm. Feels nice. I'm going to guess this might be mo one of the modifications that they found with it. It's is they actually... so crazy yeah. with the spin. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So one of the problems, this is their sort of so the RB Tour is their more penetrating golf ball. This is this higher launch golf ball. One of the problems was, although it had a firm core, the previous one, having the, such a soft cover, such a spinny cover, yeah. actually pulled the flight down oh, a little I bit. So it. you actually need to change the spin profile in order to create the additional elevation. Mm. Right. Pretty good, just yeah, hold good it straight. a little. That's a good swing. Boy, Felt good. That's a good one. Yeah, good strike. That certainly came out quite flat. Yeah. Be interested to see what the spin is. If that spins quite high, Matty. No. 58. 58. With okay. the seven iron, that's more like Pro V1 spin. Mm -hmm. It's good too. Feels nice coming off the club. Does it? Yep. That felt nice. Yeah, great swing. 
Yeah, it's got, if you turn it over, it can get through the wind, a little lower spin. Nice mm, one. Striped. Good strike. I'm curious what the spin's gonna be. That it's, to me looked like it had a bit more launch on it than the... Uh, yeah, good call. The 64. Other ones. That's good. It's a good yeah, strike. Good. Flushed it. All right, so kind of, again, doing what it's supposed to do. A little bit higher than the launch, a little bit less than the spin. Okay. I, I think we're definitely seeing the really good signs that the ball is following the, des the design pattern or the, des the design spec. Mm -hmm. And it's not doing 8,000 spin on the X anymore. No. That no. part of it seems to be gone. Definitely. Yeah. Which, back to what we talked about at the start, people yeah. will be upset about there it. Are, there's yeah. some people that want the old one. Yeah. yeah. But, Mizuno should be very proud yes. that they've managed to achieve totally. exactly what the design spec was and, and see it in, you know, real life. Yeah, this um, is proper and this is the way they designed it. Yeah. Exactly. That felt good. Sounded really solid. Definitely felt nice coming off the face. You wouldn't want anything else off the uh, off the driver. Eleven twenty three uh, sixty five. Mm. That's it. Well, maybe a little bit higher in the face. Quite flat, isn't yeah. it? I mean, that had some. Uh, that had some, some go ball. to it. Yeah. Coming back nicely. Pretty good too. It's a lot like the previous one. That one's really mm. solid. It sounded good. Yeah, one thing I will say is all the flights so far have looked like they've really got a like, great launch, mm -hmm. pretty low in the spin. It's a good driver ball, isn't it? It is. Come Coming. Back. Yep. It just comes. So yep. shade Straightened in the out. toe, but really good. Nice one. The long ball. Looking at a wedge, looking at the 50 degree, identical launch ball speed, we just saw 350 RPMs of difference in spin, a little bit higher. Yeah. So that green side spin, if, you, if that's what you kind of favor and you need a little bit more of, obviously RB Tour is gonna to be the, the ball of choice for you there. Right. Um, into the seven iron, we see a little bit of the same, mm -hmm. yeah. marginal loft dif or launch difference. Little bit lower spin again, no, yeah. So good. the difference actually in terms of, you know, if we were if we were like for like on speed, speed, okay. That's the only thing. So launched higher, spun less. It just and that's just down to probably just. Mm -hmm. I think I swung a bit slower. Touch, yeah. 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 Let's yeah. See, yeah. yeah. Yeah, just a bit. Just a little bit on speed. Efficiency's right, right, kind of there. Now we can see by how much shape, you know, that we turned over the RB Tour a little bit more. Yeah. So that's probably why the launch characteristics are, are closer. So the launch came down, spin came down. If they were on the exact same trajectory, you would see this higher and this higher. Mm. So if you're a person who needs to do a little more spin on the driver, you'd yep. probably pick the RB Tour. You would. Yeah. You would. But yeah. both both very close and. Uh, yeah. I mean, could you probably argue that it, it might come down to, you know, being so close, it might come down to what do you like the feel of? I think so. Firmer, yeah. softer? I think you'd putt around with it, you'd chip around with both. Definitely. Um, I'd have a hard time deciding just based on full swings. I think they both were great on full yeah. swings. Um, definitely you can have be some disappointed people, though, that don't get their 8,000 spin anymore, but there's other balls that do it. They are now catering though to, to not the one percent. Yeah. Well, this is the thing. This yeah. is a ball that people would ser I would I would seriously consider playing this ball. Totally, you have no reason not to. Yeah, last year's was a bit of a party trick. Yeah, so, that's a good way. Um, to I think they yeah. I think they've done a great job. Two options. They're not crazy different. Yeah. But subtly different, and I think you're right. I think a lot of it would come down to feel preference. Yeah. Round the green, get get out with them, chip with them. Yeah. In a little sample box, sleeve each. You know, go mm. and go and kind of see what feels good. I think a lot of people will gravitate towards that RB Tour. Totally. I agree. That's I'd a very a, good ball. I'd play RB Tour in a second because yeah, it doesn't sacrifice your driver. Yeah. Well, I mean, for irons, I'd like more spin, but it doesn't sacrifice on the driver and more around the greens. Yeah. It's a yeah. no-brainer. Yeah. More around the greens. Yeah, very good. Very yeah, good, good. good job for them. Okay, um, improved golf ball by Mizuno, guys. I think that's fair to say. We, we're looking at it being a much, much uh, 
more consistent golf ball in its performance. We're not seeing these huge spikes in spin, not seeing drop-offs in, in distance when you do get one spiking up a little bit. So uh, it was a, a bit of a niche golf ball park trick. I think that's a great way to look at it. I mean, we we had it for those one-off scenarios mm -hmm. where somebody was de-lofting the club and, and maybe their spin loft was, was particularly low and we go, listen, RB2X, yeah. that's the way to go. Yeah. Yeah. Wrestle, you know, some more spin out. And it worked great, you know, for, for that player, it did work great, but um, you know, for the majority of the golfers and Mizuno trying to be a player in this market, we know how difficult that is with the stranglehold, you know, Titleist, Callaway, TaylorMade, Strixon and Bridgestone, mm -hmm. I think if we called that, yeah. you know, I mean, how do you wrestle, you know, many yeah. of the market share points away from those guys, not an easy job. Mm -hmm. And I think now that they have a ball that competes with it, you may see a few points go their way. Because yeah. the ball performs a lot like a Pro V1, which is popular for a reason. Yeah, and, and we know how uh, avid their support base is. Mm -hmm. You know, anytime yeah. we never, we Loyalty, never right? tested, you know, yeah. a Mizuno iron back in the day, or you know, if we never, you know, gave their their woods enough love, the Mizuno, you know, crew love to heard. tell us about it. Yeah, so yeah. people will be keen to try it, um, and I think the key will be can they get it in a Keith Mitchell's bag? Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, can they get a ball and play on tour and start getting guys performing? that will help the process of the belief. Agreed, yeah, yeah. a lot good of validation stuff. there, yeah. Definitely. Okay guys, um, good job to Mizuno, obviously designed a golf ball. I, I know in the part of the marketing, you know, the packaging, they've talked about this being really designed for the up and coming elite golfers. Mm -hmm. So they're looking at tomorrow's golfer in mind, not something that's specifically for, you know, uh, you know, maybe a senior golfer or anything like that. They, they are talking about this new dynamic uh, athletic golfer that's mm -hmm. in the market. So, you know, if you need some speed and, and you need some good attributes, uh, durability looks much, much better in the cover, fair to say, Matty? All those wedges we hit, and we hit quite a few, um, the cover looks fine, doesn't yeah. look like it took awesome. anywhere. So, Love much it. better. Definitely. Okay, we'll get out there and give it a try. We don't know the price point just yet, so we can't kind of lead you into whether there's a value uh, proposition there to talk about in terms of, you know, value for money relative to the performance. That all come out in due course. It is only launching in uh, the US and Canada right now. Oh, is that right? It'll be February in other markets. Okay. So we are lucky that we're getting to see it a little bit uh, before other markets, which Great. is good to see. Um, so again, I'm sure when we're with the guys at the PGA show, we'll dive into a little bit more. Definitely. Great stuff. Okay, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you again soon.